another week comes to a close whereby I find myself recording another video a tad later than I normally would be doing. But hey ho, here we are and today we will be doing a walkthrough of the needle jack filaments that are currently in game. Now not having used one of these prior to recording this video, we'll be learning together how these work firsthand. But before I start, if you're new to this channel and want to see more walkthroughs and tutorials, feel free to check out that subscribe button before it jacks away. So before we get started, what are needle jacks and I'd better cloak before someone actually enters system? And where do we find them? Well, according to the patch notes from when they were released, they can be found in data sites and I will bring that up for us right now just to show you guys. And it's entirely possible by the time that you watch this that there are other avenues to be able to obtain these. But let's just have a quick scroll down to the patch notes for when they were released. As you can see here, needle jack filament. And if we scroll to the very bottom, how to obtain, you will obtain by scanning data sites. Those are exploration sites for those of you that are unaware. So the purpose there is you go to an exploration site. Hopefully it's a data site. You unlock it using your data scanner. In fact, it is... I believe it's the data scanner. I can never remember words. That's the one, the data analyzer. That is what you use in order to obtain these items from exploration sites. Alternatively, we do have one other avenue in order to get these. Of course, other players are technically the ones getting these, but if we go to the market under other items at the very bottom, and again, then go to spatial rift filaments, we can see that we have all four different variants of the needle jack filaments. We have the signal one, the signal five, the noise one, and the noise five. Now I have already explained briefly what these are in the weekly roundup that I've uploaded previously, but if you haven't already watched that, the signals jump you into a system that already has players in, and the noises jumps you into a system that nobody is in. If it has the number one by it, then it can only transport you. If it has the number five by it, then it can trans it can move you and up to four other people, those most likely being in your fleet. So that's how they work briefly. And yeah, how the needle jack works, because I, I say they jump you to a location, but I've not really said where they jump you to. They jump you into a null sec location, completely chosen at random. When you activate these, you don't know where you're going. So they can have different uses in that regard. If you go for the signal one, whereby it lands you in a system that has players in, you're most likely going to be looking for a fight. So it's a quick way to get some player versus player combat in a random location within the game. Alternatively, the noise ones could be used by explorers such as myself to find a fairly quiet area, in theory, to do a bit of exploring and then just sneaking back out again. But anyway, so that's what they are and a brief explanation as to how they work. So why don't we try one? So as we'll see right now in game, I currently have in my cargo hold one needle jack filament, specifically the noise one. That's because I'm an explorer and I'm all on my own, so the noise one makes the most sense. It is also the cheapest one available on the market for me to actually do a demo for this video, which of course makes even more sense for me. Now I'm going to do a quick check of local just to make sure that there are no hostiles in local, because of course I'm about to decloak. Because as I suspect, and we're going to prove this now, because it, it, usually you can't use a stargate or wormhole while cloaked. So I expect that to be the same principle here. So I click use and you'll not be able to... Oh, okay. So let's skip that bit. Let's... Because it looks like it's going to let me. So let's explain everything that we're seeing here before we carry on. To be able to activate this, I need 95% of my capacitor. And the root construction time is 20 seconds. So... We have to assume that for 20 seconds, I'm going to be completely vulnerable. So if someone's already shooting at you, you have 20 seconds to have to survive. You also need your capacitor to be as close to full as you can possibly get it. 
So, of course, my capacitor should be full. All I'm running is my cloak at the moment. So I'm going to hit use and press confirm. Cannot be used during cloaking. Of course, I was expecting that, but it's, of course, it's helpful to see that during the recording of a video. So now I have hit decloak. I'm going to head back in here and activate our needle jack and press confirm. Of course, construction of the spatial rift is about to begin. You will not be able to log off or cloak during the process, and it may pose a danger. Proceed. One unit of the item will be consumed immediately. So yes, for those of you that are asking, you have to consume the item. And it's just told me that I have to be in a fleet, even if I'm on my own. That's a shame, but hey-ho, let's create that fleet and carry on as I was. So now we've created the fleet, I'm going to go into here again. I'm going to do a lot of censoring for this character's name, aren't I, if I want to keep it anonymous, because it's popping up all over the place. Yes, um, sometimes as content creators want to keep our characters anonymous, but unfortunately this is my exploration tune, and it wouldn't make sense to do this on Hale. So there we go, we have constructed the spatial rift. Let's see, oh yep, yeah. so it looks like a typical wormhole. So, what's going to happen here? Do I have to tap on it? Do I have to do anything? Does it just suck me in? We're about to find out, aren't we? Uh, although, it did say something about 10 kilometers, so I should probably keep in range of it. Don't know where it's just gone. Did I just fly out of range of it? Because if I did, that would be awkward. Let's turn around. Can I see it on here? If I were to... No. I have a really bad overview set up here. Now, if it turns out that I have just flown out of range of it, that is probably going to be a bad day. <laughs> so, of course, I can't see anything. Let's give it a few more seconds before I completely write off this particular needle jack and go back to the drawing board. Yeah, I honestly think at this point I might have flown out of range of the needle jack because my engines were still going. So that is one thing worth bearing in mind, everyone. Make sure you have come to a complete stop when you run these needle jacks. Because if you fly out of range of them, because as we saw earlier, it has a range of 10 kilometers. If you fly out of that range of 10 kilometers, as we've just found, it's not going to work for you. And we've just found that out the hard way on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cut the recording here, go and get a bite to eat whilst I set up another needle jack, and then we'll get back into the video. So I'll see you guys then in the second half of this video, I guess. And about two hours later, we are back. I have yet another needle jack. Yes, I have just completed another run to Jita to get another needle jack, and here it is in my cargo hold. So, let's do a quick recap of what went wrong with the first launch, shall we, before we go ahead. So, first and foremost, we can't activate the needle jack whilst we are cloaked. Also, whilst we can activate the needle jack whilst we are moving around in space, it is highly recommended that we are simply not moving around in space. If you accidentally fly out of range of your needle jack's portal, exactly what just happened to me will happen to you. So let's, without any further rambles, go into the needle jack, select use from our cargo hold, and say yes, we want to consume it and take the risk of it taking us to another random location within the game. So as you can see right now, we're currently all the way over in Declan. Our needle jack has now spawned the Noise One needle jack filament rift in space. I'm currently four kilometers away from it, not moving away. And as we can see, 90% of my capacitor was just consumed right there, right then. So wherever you land, or wherever I land in this case, you're going to end up landing with very, very little capacitor. And unfortunately, because of this combat timer, we're not going to be able to do a great deal, are we? 
<clears throat> so let's have a look. We are now decloaked. Let's see what we can do. As you can see from local in the bottom right, we are the only ones in system and we're all the way over in cash. Cash? Catch right now. Is it pronounced cash or catch? I can never keep a track of how people pronounce things in this game. But if we have a look, we started on the outskirts of Declan and my autopilot actually has me going all the way back to, wow, what is near enough the opposite side of the map. So yeah, I'm all the way down in catch right now. Uh, feel free to wave at me if you happen to figure out who I am flying through space. But yeah, so what can we do whilst we're all the way out here? Well, one thing I'm going to quickly do, because we are out here doing some exploration after all, is I'm just going to hit scan on the local system, and we're just going to round off this video with me doing a bit of exploration. And yes, this is one of the uses for this particular item. Again, those of you that enjoy PvP content a lot more than I do, you can use this to go and find content pretty much wherever you want in the game. You don't need to scout ahead to find out which locations actually have people playing the game in them. You just say, okay, we'll activate this module or filament, whatever you want to call it, and it'll do all that hard work for us. It will deliver us straight into the action. Now, of course, so far we have two Nihilus compressed spaces in this particular run. I don't like Nihilus compressed spaces. There's not much you can do with them in an exploration ship, let's be honest. So let's have a look. We will round this video off with me proving I actually know what I'm doing with something, if I can. Which one shall I press? We'll start there. These level 3 ones, just on a side note, are always like the most difficult ones to do. Uh, let's go with that one. Yeah, I'm going to completely butcher this particular run. Get rid of that one. And don't think I'm all that far off, to be honest. It could well be that one. Hey, and I got it. Unknown Hidden Rift. Yeah, something else I can't use. But anyway, that is pretty much the end of this video. We've, to do a quick recap, we've had a look at what Needle Jacks are, how to find them in-game. We've made a couple of failed attempts at using them, having discovered that you cannot use them with the cloak on, and you can accidentally fly out of range of the needle jack itself once you've activated it. And yeah, it also uses up about 90 to 95% of your capacitor. The item itself says 95%, but as we've just witnessed, it dropped my capacitor down to 10%. So I guess results will vary a little bit from player to player. But anyway, that about marks the end of this video. Hopefully I've held on to enough of my voice for this part of the video. Thankfully, having a two-hour break kind of helped things out a little bit there. But anyway, this channel is on its way to hitting 500 subscribers, and it would be amazing to finish the year on 500. So if you haven't already, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, fly casual in New Eden.